Hello class, this is section 2.4 and in this video we are going to talk about the maximum principle. It's a very simple principle. It simply says that the steady state temperature of a 2D surface attains its maximum and minimum temperature somewhere on the boundary. So you can always find the max temperature, min temperature, somewhere in the boundary of the surface. To see why this is true, let's imagine that we have a maximum temperature somewhere in the middle, right here. So let's draw a circle around, centered around that, uh, that maximum temperature. Uh, I, this is a very poorly drawn circle, but you know what I mean. Let's say that the temperature of X is M, and based on the mean value theorem, we know that the average temperature of the circumference equal to the temperature of X, and that temperature is M, so the average temperature of the circumference is M, but note that M is the maximum temperature. So the temperature at every point on the surface, including the points on the circumference, have to be less than or equal to M. That's what maximum means after all. But how can the average temperature of the circumference be M if the temperature of every point on the circumference is less than M? A little bit of thinking tells us that this is only possible if every point of the circumference has temperature exactly M. Let us reflect this fact by drawing the circle in pink instead. So every temperature on the circumference has the same temperature as the center, which is M. So we can pick another X over here, somewhere in the circumference of the first circle, and draw another circle around it. And this circle must also have a circumference that has temperature M everywhere. And we can keep doing this over and over again until we eventually reach the boundary. And thus, the maximum principle is demonstrated. The steady state temperature attains the maximum principle, the maximum temperature on the boundary. Now, some students might note that using this argument, we might as well just like keep drawing circles until the entire surface is colored pink. And that is actually one consequence of this argument. The maximum and minimum temperatures can occur in the interior of the surface only when every point of the surface has the same temperature. So if you have a max temperature somewhere in the interior, you can use this argument to paint the entire surface pink. 